All right, it looks like we're up, back, and running. All right, folks, sorry about the delay. We'll take you back to the action. Right, blinds are, what, 714 now? 612. Yeah, I thought it was 612. Down. Down. 24 total. We still have half the field in play. Blinds are 612. Heads up between Shelly and Rob. Rob hits a set of tens. He must be sitting in Brandon's seat. I think that he might be. Mrs. Shelly again. Oh, two oh, hearts on the board. I believe Newman put a 2,000 bet out there. Shelly seems frustrated at this point. Shelly only had 2,300 <laughs> when she started. And we've eliminated another player, folks. We're down to our final four. Shelly had a good play for Joe. Being knocked out in what place was that? He's playing with you, Shelly. Uh, Anytime you want to sub for Joe, we're more than happy to have you. <laughs> down the four, we are on the bubble. This hand. Good to go. Ed folds his queen deuce. Robert folds. Newman or uh, Palmer Smith folds. Heather takes the blind. Out 
Should I mask wits? Ace Queen of Diamonds. Heather with an Ace Seven right behind him. Three thousand. Raise three thousand. Three thousand's the raise. Folk. Heather folds her Ace Seven of Hearts. Ed will fold his two Eight of Clubs. I'm gonna guess. Yeah, I'm not sure why he's taking so long in his hand. I mean, to me, that's an instant fold. <laughs> and I like suited cards. The button moves, and Rob Newman is to act first. I'll catch you next time. With that, I'll catch you next time. Actually, the button's on Heather, so uh, Moskowitz oh, is to act go. first. Moskowitz with a 10 4, good buddy. Back to the blinds that fast. Call. Suited gappers. So, Tony, I wanted to ask you, why do you think Shelly just made that call? You think there's just frustration? Think oh. she was getting bullied, or? Uh, I think she was. She had most of her chips already in there. <coughs> had, well, Moskowitz would have folded it. <laughs> he he wouldn't have been in that long. Moskowitz, if he has one chip left, he will fold to it. Would you shot? Nice. But, uh, yeah, I think Shelly did the right thing. <coughs> she was down to 2,300 right before the. Uh, Beginning of the section, and uh, had to uh, had to make a stand. I do like the fact that. It, you know, when you watch uh, TV and poker on TV, oh, you usually uh, only yeah. see the premium hands, the, the controversial hands that usually knock people out or sure. take a lot of chips. And you're really seeing how the way poker is truly played. You've, uh, patience really does win. Uh, sure, it's, it's not always hitting that two-outer or one-outer on the flop that you'll see on TV. It's, there's a lot of hands involved that lead up to that. Yep. Everybody that's uh, up... up professional poker player you, you usually see how the aggression is and but you don't see them just sitting there waiting for those hands and that's one of the great things about this show tony is that you you see a tournament from the start to finish so you get your own reads on players you know what players are going to do yeah and we are opening this up uh, if you have a nine or ten interested people to play a game and record it and to review how you play uh, just contact us, and we'll give you pricing and availability. You are watching Season 3, uh, Game 5 of Chase the Bracelet. Are you upset with that? Yeah. Upset with that Heather hits the 6. 16 at that top. Uh, Heather's been folding a lot here. I wouldn't. I Paul did not bet until that ace hit the board, so she's got to think that he has that ace. Button on Paul. We're going to go to Rob for our first action. It's a good shot of Ed and Robert flapping their gums. <laughs> I squitch with my favorite hand. I thought yours was the Jack King unsuited. Only a call there. I think he could have bought the pot if he had just raised. Might let Ed in the window then. Let's see how the flop hits him. I flopped two pair, but there's two spades on here. Ed hits his nine. And Paul with an up and down straight draw. 
Ed's probably gonna call a middle pair here. For an eight or a queen. They both check. Ah. Ed has two pair. Interesting. But moves and Paul Moskowitz is to act yeah, first. That That's the look I usually get. I need yeah. a little piece of turn. Why did you shift up? Yeah. Black, purple, whatever. And that's good. And that quickly we're down to the blinds. Hmm. And Paul folded the six, seven of hearts too. <laughs> Rob gets a walk. I might have a little bit ahead there. If you weren't, I want the deck checked. <laughs> this wasn't a handy to work with me on Right. Hey, I have connectors. I do. <laughs> Ooh, block by the button. Pretty good, good to go. Action on Ed. Ed has ace four. Ed and Paul, heads up. Well, you go first, sir. Check. Two five eight misses both players. Looks like they both check. Both players check with the king hitting it. And a jack of diamonds. Paul Moskowitz with the highest ace. Best kicker. Three out there. Moskowitz slams him down. I just do it. I was going to come along with my nine ten of hearts. I had raised before it got to me. What did we jump to? Eight, Eight sixteen. 16. First act will be Ed <coughs> with pocket fours. Cards. How much do you have, Tyler? Yeah, like kind of okay, roughly five total, including a blind. Right? That's what I thought. Yeah. He does have two players to act behind him, so he's got to take that into consideration. Folds. Let's see what Heather does. Nope. Uncontested. No, I just said he's nine. Force take it down. And Ed shows. has ace king. Newman sitting with a 9-10 suited. Newman right, give him a run for his money here. Newman calls 1600.
Looks like we're going to go for a raise here. 36. Raise the 36. Paul makes it 3,600. Flood. Paul. Newman already has 1,600 in. 2,000 from to call. And he makes a call. Kind of thought he might give him a little run for his money here. Checks. Two spades. Hits two spades for Rob. Paul hits his king. Oh, is going all in. Rob calls. Does he? Or he hmm. uh, maybe Rob went I all in and Paul right. called. No, wait. No, I think uh, Moskowitz went all in and Rob Newman hasn't acted yet. This is correct. But I think Rob's going to call here. <laughs> There's no real draw except for the flush. I, I, 12,000 is what Moskowitz has. He'll, um, Newman does have him covered. So Newman's still in it with a, at least 8,000. Uh, you know that Heather's over there with fingers crossed that he's going to call. Especially, with, yeah, she's sitting with a low stack and this bumps her up. Yep. And if she can get an opportunity to get a one spot above Moskowitz. Yep. <sighs> now it was raised to 3,600. There's about... I think he calls, Tony. There's what do you think? eight or 9,000 in the pot. I, I don't think the odds are there, actually. Uh, does he make the call? Let's <sighs> gamble. I'll call. And he makes the call. I I would have let it go, but we're that's why we're all different. Nine and oh, oh my god! Oh, runner, runner! Oh, wow! Catching two pair. Oh man, another one. The luck box is over. Yep. It was a dumbass call, and you know exactly what was going through my mind? If I can win this hand, I I'm not here. This play. I, know, I know that, but if I can win that hand, I'm like, I knock the points leader behind me, you know, at least for this game. That was a dumbass. Rep commenting on his own play. Yep. I just had a feeling he was going to do it, Tony. I thought he was going to pull the trigger. I didn't expect him to win that way. Uh -uh. So you're down to final three. That's uh, if you're a true gambler at heart, you love the game of poker. Yeah, rightfully so, because that was. There are ups and downs. As we saw that with Moskowitz tonight. He caught a card on the river to give him a better two pair. And we just seen him lose all his chips to a river card. Heather is big blind. Getting close, I think, to. Yeah, she has 1,500 left after she paid this big one. He went with another king queen. I have not looked. Newman's got the chips now. I think he's going to play and apply the pressure here. I think the cards are going to be in his favor, too. Calls the eight. Newman calls from the small blind. Heather with three, seven off. He just makes the call. Checks dark. Both players check to the river. Newman's best with the straight. That's the absolute. There you go. Hit the monster. There's now in the small blind. It's interesting. I don't know if you can tell. Do you see how good the video looks? I uh, actually lowered our video quality. <laughs> but in doing so, I don't think that the computer has to work as hard to get the good graphics. I call, I call dark. He called. He called. They're not. 
I believe Heather is <laughs> folding. In with the check mark. Watch how I find that. I got a six. Next game. Watch how I find that. Oh, that's so close. Oh, the empty. Heather gets a free hand here, and then I think she can either be all in this one, or I believe she'll be blinded as an all in on the next hand. And I think she's putting them all in. Is that me? Yes. All right, let's go for this. The most aggressive Good things job. come to those who wait. Yeah, check. <laughs> let's get a side pot right here. Here it comes. There is. This pot right here has your name on it. This is a 21. Check. Check. I'm sure that does it. All right, all three check. players in. Heather's all in. Oh, that's promising. Check. Check. I have one. That's interesting. I got a 10. Newman with the straight. Newman with the straight. Newman hits a straight. Heather's eliminated. We are heads up, folks. Ed and Rob. Sorry, Heather. You had 18. Perfect. Sit in perfect positions for our camera work. What's going on in there? You guys are uh, gonna have to move oh, okay. Uh, long day. Uh, Rob has a uh, pretty dominant chip lead here uh, over Ed. We'll see if Ed can fight back. I'm calling dark because that's that's how that's worked for me the last couple of years. No. <laughs> <laughs> I think this I tournament's know. over. <laughs> Could very well be. Newman has not even looked at his cards yet. I think Ed's going to show, maybe. Yeah. Check. I, I would in this position. I think he shoves, and Rob, of course, has to call. Yeah, unless he folds dark. <laughs> I'll call. Calls all in. Queens. Bam. This tournament may be over, folks. Queens versus threes. Although the underdog's been winning. Here's a flop. Oh, man. Three or five. Eight. I think that's it, folks. Good game. Great game. Rob Newman is our champ for this game. Congratulations to all players that played and everybody watching. You've been watching Chase the Bracelet, no and up, I'm Tony Price, right. and I'm the suited Dan Crafton. We'll see you in about, uh, well, seven yeah, days? Like, uh, seven days, I'll be here, Tony. Excellent. Uh, I hope to see you then, too, and we'll see you. Have a great night. Night, folks. DJ, what do you want me to do with these chips? Do you want me to put them back in the case, or do you guys leave them out? I think I need them out.